Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by Easy Academy. In this particular series, we're going to be covering Apache Flink on Microsoft Azure. So this is something that was requested by some of the uh, subscribers and some of the people that watch my channel because they're just looking for content on how to do uh, Apache Flink on Microsoft Azure. But as of today, the time of this re recording, this content is not really available on YouTube or pretty much any or any other website that talks about you know the different options that are available for you if you're doing Apache Flink on Azure. So that's why I created this particular video series to talk about how to use Apache Flink for event stream processing, how to integrate with some of the different Azure data platform offerings that we have in Microsoft Azure, as well as some of the deployment strategies you can use to deploy Apache Flink for your data workloads on Microsoft Azure. That is what this particular video series is going to be about. This first video is just going to be an introduction to give you an, an idea of what I'm going to be talking about. But if there is any specific concept or question you have that you would like to see addressed in upcoming episodes of this series, please feel free to share that with me as a comment and I would uh, do my best to include that in upcoming episodes within the series. So let's take a look at what we have to discuss uh, in this series. So like I said earlier, it's gonna be a multi-part series. We're gonna talk about the architecture and internals for Apache Flink as it comes and pertains to using it for event stream processing to handle real time as well as some of the batch workloads that some, uh, some of my, my customers and some of my partners um, in Microsoft Azure uh, are doing. So we'll talk about those internals and the architecture and different features of Apache Flink. We will also cover how you can deploy Apache Flink on Microsoft Azure. Uh, at, the, at the present time, we don't have a first party offering yet, but that is something that would likely change at some point in the near future. But um, today, um, and in this series, I will walk you through exactly how you can leverage some of the pre-existing platforms, as well as some of the features that Apache Flink provides uh, to deploy your workloads simply and easily on Microsoft Azure. Then we will cover what the different integration options are between Apache Flink, its ecosystem, and the data platform offerings that we have on Microsoft Azure. So we have our storage, um, offering, we have our event hubs offering, we have our Cosmos DB offering, and so many other uh, native first party uh, Azure data platform uh, solutions that you can integrate with Apache Flink. So I will cover all those ecosystem components and platform offerings from Azure um, in this uh, section of the discussion. And then we'll also cover how you can integrate or how Apache Flink works with other open source uh, data platform projects like Apache Kafka, how does that integrate? Uh, Elasticsearch, how does that integrate? Um, Apache Beam, how does that integrate? So Apache Flink integrates with a lot of other open source projects as well. So this video series will cover that. If there's anything specific you would like to see or make me prioritize, please let me know and I would work that into the video as well. So. Apache Flink is an open source project that is managed by the Apache Software Foundation. And it has a lot of similarities and differences between some of the popular projects that we know about, like Apache Spark and Apache Kafka. Uh, Apache Spark is primarily used for batch processing. So this is when you have a lot of data and you wanna crunch or process them at you know uh, one time. Um, sometimes Spark is um, being uh, discussed as having real-time capabilities, but it is actually micro-batching and is not, in my perspective, um, real-time streaming like what you would see in Apache Kafka or what you would see in Apache Beam. So um, in terms of similarities with Apache Spark, uh, Apache Flink allows you to do batch processing. Now, how is this similar to Apache Kafka? It allows you to do real-time um, streaming. Now, the difference between the batching and the real-time streaming is that with uh, with with uh, with batching, you have 
a uh, discrete and a concrete and, and a fixed set of records that has to be processed through the system. But with streaming and real-time analytics, you tend to get these events coming in continually and they are unbounded. So the main difference between um, Apache uh, Flink and Apache Kafka and Apache Spark is that Spark primarily deals with bounded data sets. Kafka primarily deals with unbounded data sets, but Flink has a framework to support both bounded data sets and unbounded data sets in the same project. Um, now, how is it different from Apache Kafka? Apache Kafka has a storage, uh, a storage uh, component to it, which means that you can keep data inside the Kafka cluster and you can also use something like KSQL or Kafka streams to process it in real time. So Kafka has both the processing mechanism as well as the storage mechanism. Whereas something like Apache Flink is only for the processing aspect and not necessarily having any kind of storage capabilities within, the, uh, within it. So if you need to have any kind of storage, you will have to leverage some other uh, tools or some other storage uh, strategies to keep the data and then bring it, bring it into Apache Flink uh, to process. Um, Spark is similar to Flink in this way as well, where within Spark, you don't really have, um, it's not really designed for storing data, but it's designed for processing data. So to, to summarize this particular concept, Flink is similar to Kafka in that it supports primarily, um, it, you know, it supports real-time streaming of handling unbounded data sets. And it is similar to Spark in that it can also support bounded data sets. And it's similar to Spark in the fact that you uh, can use it only for processing and not for storage. Now, the different ways to deploy it today on Microsoft Azure is something that I will address in detail in upcoming videos, but I can just give you an overview today. So you can deploy Apache Flink today in standalone mode um, on virtual machines. So in Microsoft Azure, we like to use virtual machine uh, scale sets to do that because this allows you to you know customize your image if you need to. And it, it, it also simplifies the mechanism of scaling up the cluster size and scaling down. So you can use uh, a set of virtual machine scale sets for some components, some architecture components in Flink and a different scale set for some other components or the same scale set for all of them. But using virtual machine scale sets or virtual machines can you know really simplify things for you. So that is one option. Flink can be deployed on Microsoft Azure using the virtual machine scale set capability that we have. We also have the ability to deploy Flink on Kubernetes. So if you want to use the Azure Kubernetes service, you can use this to deploy Apache Flink on Microsoft Azure today. And that you know is something that you can do uh, very, very easily. So you pretty much create your um, Flink YAML resources and then use those to push the resources to the cluster and then Flink can be deployed uh, day to day. So even though we don't have uh, a first party offering yet, which I believe that would change um, in the near future. But as of today, if you wanted to do it right now, you have these two main options of using Ansible provision virtual machines, push the dependencies to the virtual machines, and then deploy your fling job and you know, you're know you done. Uh, if you wanna do it on Kubernetes, if that's what you're, you're more comfortable with, you can deploy your Kubernetes cluster and then deploy your fling resources there and then put your fling jobs or the Flink applications uh, in that environment. So those are the two primary, uh, the two main ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do it locally, you can also use um, uh, Docker and you can run it locally in your development development environment to test out the application before you push it to the uh, production environment on virtual machines or Kubernetes service. And then, like I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of integration opportunities between Apache Flink and Microsoft Azure. So that would be discussed in much more details in upcoming videos. And if there are any specific integration options you would like to see me discuss, please put that in the comment section and I would be very happy to prioritize that and put that in the next uh, upcoming videos within this uh, series. And then Flink also has a lot of integration and opportunities with other open source software projects like Apache Kafka, like Elasticsearch, and very many other um, open source projects. So that will also be covered 
in upcoming uh, series so if you like this particular video please feel free to share this video with someone else that you think this will be useful too and if you like my channel please feel free uh, to subscribe and click on the notification icon so that when um, new videos like this one are being uploaded you will get notified and you can check it out you know and let me know how you think um, you can also follow me on some of the other social media platforms like instagram twitter and github uh, at easy academy and then you can check out my website for additional content and some of the courses that i have on open source data processing um, using those open source projects so thank you very much for your time today and i really appreciate you checking out this content um, if you like the content you can you know uh, sh give me a shout out on the on the comment section and also feel free to let me know what you would like to see in upcoming videos or what you would like to see me do a deep dive on that it was covered in this particular video so see you in the next videos for this particular series and i will uh, see you then thank you for your time today